Today you're about to watch a walkthrough of the Mendix Rapid Developer Learning Path. In this learning path, you will learn everything you need to know to get the Rapid Developer Certification. This is a beginner level course and made for anyone who wants to build an app. We will make an app for trainers who host their own courses. By the end of the walkthrough, teachers will be able to add courses to the app. They will be able to add trainees. And the app allows trainers to track and manage who is attending their course. The learning path is in the description. You'll need a free Mendix account and download Mendix Studio Pro. So if you haven't set that up yet, check out the video in the description. If you already set up your account, then enjoy the video. Open Mendix Portal to get started. In the top right corner, click the Create App button. You may also create a new app directly from Mendix Studio Pro Desktop App. On the next page, select the Blank Web App as your starting point. Now it's time to name your app. Before starting the work, break down the app requirements and what needs to be worked on before the work begins. Create user stories from the planning tab in your developer portal. Let's create an example user story. Structure your user stories like so. As an end user, I want X solution. So that Y business value. Give a description of the user story, assign a story type, and estimate the story points for the user story. Make sure to drag and drop your backlog items to the next sprint section. Now let's add more user stories. I added 11 user stories. I broke down some of the larger user stories into a list of two DOS. The story points represent the effort it will take to finish that user story. Before planning your sprint, I recommend creating a process for estimating the story points. Here's an example of a wireframe. Just like user stories, a wireframe is a way of deciding what will be worked on before work begins. It is an easy visual way to design the basic features of the app you want to develop. This app is mainly created for Jimmy himself. After discussing what Jimmy wants, I identified the following business value he needs. Jimmy wants to be able to keep track of the various trainings his company is offering. He wants to keep all his trainings up to date. He wants to be able to add new courses, assign teachers to them, and schedule them over a period of time. He also wants to be able to see who is participating in each course and when. Teachers want to be able to see when the next class they need to teach is. 
along with a list of students participating in order to prepare accordingly. They also want to see the details of each participant. In case participants are late, they want to be able to contact them. Epics are a way to divide your user stories into broader categories and group similar ones together. These epics are grouped by functionality. Now let's assign an epic to each user story. You want your user stories to eventually be in your active sprint so you are able to see them on your Kanban board. For that to happen, you need to move them to your next sprint. Now let's start our sprint. The board page shows you how much you have progressed towards the goal of your sprint. You can see which user stories have yet to be picked up, which are currently in progress, and which ones are finished. You can move user stories from one column to another to indicate their status. <laughs> 